Hi everyone, I wish I could be there in person to present this richly deserved award to Amira Waller, but alas, again this year it's not to be. Still, it's always a thrill to join my friends and the inspiring women and leaders of the National Council of Jewish Women in Victoria, who work tirelessly to uh, better our community and to improve the lives of so many. As I've said on numerous occasions, the breathtaking impact that the National Council of Jewish Women has made has earned our respect and gratitude. And I personally want to say to each one of you, Toda and Kola Kavod. As you may know, the Fanny Reading Award was established 74 years ago with a 600 pound endowment. And it is an incredible feat that uh, seven decades later, this wonderful partnership between the NCJW Victoria, the University of Melbourne, and the program in Jewish culture and society, which I lead, is still going strong. I bring regards and congratulations from my friend Ziva Shavitsky, the inaugural winner of the Silver Gelman Award. And Ziva, more than anyone else, has done so much to promote and to champion Hebrew language and learning at universities. And while I'm talking about Ziva and Sylvia, I have to mention one of my heroes, uh, Sylvia Gelman, who reminded us time and again that although no one is perfect, there are some individuals who get pretty close. Um, the University of Melbourne is the only university in Victoria teaching Hebrew uh, language and literature, and I am so proud to present the Fanny Reading Award to Amira Waller. I think that if uh, Dr. Reading was alive today, she would be delighted with this year's selection. Amira is one of those students that every lecturer would be happy to rock up to class for. She's one of those special students. And I first uh, met Amira when she did the University of Melbourne Extension program while a student at uh, Libla Yavne College. When she graduated uh, from school, she joined my class and for three st straight years attended my classes at the University of Melbourne. And yes, Amira is smart as hell, uh, she is committed, she is inflamed with passion about Hebrew. And yes, she is enamored with the language, she uh, adores Hebrew poetry and literature, and she always added sharp insight to every class discussion. But above all, Amira is a terrific young woman, someone whose largeness of spirit, kindness and generosity is only matched by her big heart and big smile. Uh, and on a personal note, uh, this occasion is tinged with little sadness because uh, the very year that Amira won the Fanny Reading Award was the year that Amira graduated from uh, the university. And yet, she will always have a place in my heart uh, as one of the finest students I've had the pleasure of teaching. So, I am excited, I am honored, uh, I am delighted to say Mazal Tov to Amira to her beautiful family and to tell her Kola Kavod on this immense achievement. I think that um, this occasion will be engraved in my memory and in my heart for many years to come. And I wish Amira much poetry and literature in her life. And to the incredible women of the National Council of Jewish Women Victoria, keep up uh, the tremendous work you're doing. We're proud of you. We need you, and I look forward to seeing you next year. Good evening, everyone. It is an honor to be here tonight, albeit virtually, as the recipient of the Fanny Redding Scholarship for 2021. I particularly want to thank Dr. Tavira Bravovich for nominating me for this award. Upon being notified that I had received the Fanny Redding Scholarship, I was interested to learn a bit more about the life and legacy of Fanny Redding herself. What stood out to me were her accomplishments both in her professional life as a graduate of the Conservatorium of Music at Melbourne University and later graduating from the university as a doctor and her communal achievements. At a time when few women had the opportunity to enter the medical field and few were given the platform to vocally advocate for Jewish rights, Fanny Redding truly stands out. Her dedication to achieving improvements within the Jewish community culminated in her founding the National Council of Jewish Women of Australia in Sydney in 1929. 
I am, as I'm sure many here are too, very grateful for her long-lasting contribution to our co community and for providing a platform for recognition of girls and women within our community. Like Fanny Redding, I am currently studying at the University of Melbourne, undertaking a Bachelor of Arts with a major in Psychology. My connection to the Hebrew faculty at Melbourne Uni began in 2017 when I completed tertiary Hebrew units under Tavira's guidance as part of my VC. Since then, I have completed many Hebrew units throughout my undergraduate degree. Speaking in Hebrew, connecting with other young Jewish students, learning the poetry of Agnon, Bialik and Rachel, just to name a few, has truly been the highlight of my university experience. The friendly and warm yet intellectually stimulating environment created by Devere and his classes is unlike anything I have experienced in other subjects throughout my studies. I am truly grateful to the university for enabling me to continue engaging in my Jewish identity and improving my Hebrew skills in a university context and to Devere for his ongoing commitment and guidance to his students. Thank you again to everyone at the National Council of Jewish Women for presenting me with this award and for recognising the importance of studying Hebrew and Jewish history and culture at a university level.